Greek mythical figure who fell in love with his own image. Not only that, everyone who came across him fell in love with him as well. Yep, those people who believe in themselves, love themselves, aren't good bets for relationships. So joining us this afternoon here in the Fox 32 studio, Bella Gandhi from the Smart Dating Academy to give us some clues that we are in a relationship with someone who is narcissistic. 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 It's Narcissistic. a tough one to say. And that's why it's a tough one to date, too. I, huh? You took the words <laughs> out of my that's mouth. That's why I can't say it because who wants to date it? But we have all secretly have fallen in love for that guy or that girl. At Smart Dating Academy, every day we see men and women that continuously gravitate towards narcissists. And why? Biggest clue number one, they can be incredibly charming. They are well-dressed, they are confident, they are well-spoken, they are socially dynamic, they are larger than life, life of the party. They have characteristics that make them universally attracted to but people. But that is what we fall in love with. That is what we cling to because of the confidence, because of the well-dressed, because they know how to move around in any kind of circle, whether it's up or down, that is the guy that everybody in the room is after. That's right. That's right, because those characteristics are universally attractive. So that doesn't mean everybody that has those characteristics are narcissistic. Right. So now, if you look at what makes a narcissist, here's how you suss them out. The second thing is, is if they are too fast and too furious. They want to date you Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, every Wednesday, day. every single day. They want to inhale you. They will lavish you with gifts. You are the object of their affection, and they are relentless. But we have to be strong enough to say, slow down, Jim Shoes. Slow, slow it down. down. And then that way, if they have a problem, then you know they are narcissistic. Absolutely. Okay, if they're not respecting that, you know, whoo, narcissist alert, I'm out. Kick him to the curb. All right, <laughs> the third tip there. They are really selfish. A narcissist is, the easy way to look at it, they are takers and they are looking for givers. You can give them your time, your energy, your money, everything. You can make them five meals a day. It will never be enough because it is all about them. And that's the relationship that you don't want to be in is when your feelings, your emotions are packed in the suitcase right there at the front door. Right there. Your soul matter. Ooh, it's all about them. It is not about you. All right. And now the fourth <laughs> tip that you have for us is when it's all all about them. Oh yeah, absolutely. They have this exaggerated sense of self-importance. They think they're above the law. They should have special treatment. They should be hobnobbing with only very high status, very influential people, and rules don't apply to me. What, what, what does that I'm mean? I'm above the law. They could say, okay, I've just set high standards for myself and I do not believe in compromising or, compromising or negotiating on that. Does that make them narcissistic because they know what they want? Not necessarily. Okay. okay. Not necessarily. That's having good boundaries. Okay. Good deal. Right? I was going to say, because we learned that from you a couple of months ago. I mean, set them and don't didn't she tell us that a couple of months ago? All right, <laughs> All right Bella. And, and if not, we give you the signal to get exactly, out of the room. Exactly, <laughs> to get out of the room. All right, and for the fifth tip, when they, they just need to be stroked all the time because remember narcissism is a clinical disorder and it's ultimately comes from very low self-esteem and you're building yourself into something that you believe is amazing so all you need all day long is people to tell you how awesome you are you are amazing you are so great and they need compliments all day long but do you think they can give them out not at all no no not at because all. that lowers them if they put you up that lowers them and they need you to constantly tell them how amazing they are. All right, and the last tip before we let you go. They do not criticize a narcissist because they can get angry, they can get offensive with their words. A narcissist, here's a really easy way to know, even in the beginning if you're on a date with them. Let's say you're at a restaurant and, and their food comes out a little bit different than they ordered and if they bite the waiter's head off, you know, okay, this is a person potentially with a personality disorder. <laughs> <laughs> if people want more information, we got to continue this conversation in the commercial break. But if people at home want more information, smartdatingacademy.com. Good deal. Bella Gandhi, always good to see you. Thank you so much. All right, it's 1230. Up next, will you need to bring your umbrella to tonight's Cubs game?